what happens if you want to have a watch where you don't have to worry about setting it. They actually have such watches, but you can't see, or you can see very little. Well, Science Museum in the United Kingdom has actually solved that problem. And this is it. USA time updated. Okay, so what that means is this watch is radio controlled, meaning every morning at 3 o'clock, so in just a few hours, it's going to update itself. So by pushing this button again, the alarm time is oops, 11, 15 a.m. you get your alarm time. I'm still learning to use this. I'm still getting used to the fact that S3 and S4 are here, S1 and S2 are here. As far as the button layout, because that's how the how that's how the watch pronounces is, provides you with instructions to set it. Um, and I'm you'd think it would be the other way around, but it's not. And I'll show you here. I'll, I'll press uh, S3 here. I'll press and hold it. Set alarm. Press S3 to set. So if I press S3 here, that's this one. Press S1 to set hour. S2 for minute. S4 to confirm. And this is S4, so I'm going to hit S4 to confirm. And the alarm is on. Um, what if you wanted to turn it off? Well, you could go in here. Set alarm. Press S3 to set. And I'll just. Alarm on. Off. Press S3 to set. So again, S3. Press S1 to on. S2 to off. S4 to confirm. So I'm going to hit S2. Alarm off. And confirm. So if I hit S3 again to get an idea of what's going on. Alarm is off. Okay. And again, if I hit this one, S4. USA time updated. What that means, again, every morning it synchronizes itself at 3 a.m. through the WWVB signal. And that means that this watch is accurate to within one second. But the beautiful part about this watch unlike other radio control uh, watches and clocks that I have, is this one not only allows for the U.S., and I'll show you here in the menus. Set alarm, alarm on, chime on, off, press S3 to set. Hourly chime. Global signal selection only when you visit these countries. Press S3 to set. So global, select, global signal selection. U.S., U.K., Japan and China or Germany, I think. I don't remember all of them. Set alarm, alarm on. Chime on. on. Global signal. Set Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern. For USA time zone setting. Press S3. Set time. Press S3. So that previous option was for time zone selection. This is where you set your time. Second hand alignment. Press S3. Second hand alignment. If this, if you have a major vibration that causes the second hand to go out of alignment, that's where you would realign it. Set alarm. Press S3 to set. And we're back to the alarm setting. So if I, I, I have to wait a few seconds to get out of here. I think that might be long enough. And then, well, what if you just wanted to know the time? Well, that's what S1 does. Actually, I think, let me double check the settings. I think the chime might be on so you can hear what happens when it hits the top of the hour. Set alarm, press S alarm on, chime on, off, press S3 to set, press S1 to on, S2, chime on, confirm. Okay, and let me get the time again. The time is 12.57 a.m. So if we wait about three minutes, in the meantime, you can also get the date. Today is Sunday, December 27, year 2009. So let's let's go ahead and watch the time. And um, 
while it's doing that, let me tell you that an upcoming review is going to be of my new IPVO Wi-Fi Skype phone that I also got for Christmas. Um, I just need to give it enough... I've been using that thing a lot. And right now, it's on its second cradle battery charge since I got it. So I'm, I think I'm going to end up charging it once a day. I've got the Skype out service, and it's great. $2.50 a month for unlimited calling. Who can beat that? Um, and as long as you're in Wi-Fi hotspot most of the time, which I'm in, is pretty good. The time is 12.58 a.m. Okay. Um, I also got Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I plan to do a review on once I can figure out how I can get the camera to work with it. But let me tell you that that game is hard. It's harder than the first one that they have on the DS. It's definitely harder than that. But it's very enjoyable. Uh, new techniques, uh, new we the new weapon called the Ice Flower, which I love. So, um, let's see, beyond that I got a couple Star Trek movies for Christmas. Um, First Contact and then the one they had in theaters this past summer. And I love both of them. Um, and Snow Leopard, which I'm going to do a review on as well. The time is 12.59 a.m. Okay, so... It's almost time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you can look forward to in the coming um, coming days. Ten seconds. The time is one o'clock a.m. Okay, um, you may have heard a male voice in there. That was Snow Leopard announcing the exact same thing. Um, I don't want this to announce the time of the hour all night. Unfortunately, this is one of those watches that does. Some do, some don't. This one does. So I'm going to go in and turn off the chime. By the way, you want to make sure you have your buttons in order, because if you accidentally hit this one and hold it down, that's going to stop the second hand. And I did that yesterday, my mistake, and I'm glad it managed to update itself. So I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to hold S4 here. Set alarm, press S3 to set. I'm going to press. Alarm on, chime on, off, press S3 to set. S3. Press S1 to on, S2 to off, S4 to confirm. So I'm going to hit S2. Chime off. And S4. Confirm. Here we go. Really quickly, I want to show you the back of this watch. <clears throat> it's going to be kind of hard to see because of the way the band is lined out. Um, but that's the back. There is printing here. Um, I, I don't know what it's supposed to say. My hands can be pretty... My arm can be pretty sweaty at times. Sorry to gross anybody out, but it's true. Um, and as a result, um, it's managed to smear the print. So... I like to wear my watches kind of tight because I don't like them rolling around on my arm. And I have a small wrist, so that's why it gets uh, so hot under there. Anyway, um, that is the... Oh, one more thing about the manufacturer. The manu This is available through Learning Sight and Sound, LS and S here in the United States. Uh, there's also a variation of this one with a little bit more... Um, uh, Oh gosh, I don't know what you would call it. It's got a it's got a chrome bezel around the face, as opposed to this plastic silver one here. Um, that's available through Maxiates. They are both the same watch. I just went with this one because I like the way it looked a little bit better. I just thought it was a little bit more uh, professional looking. Um, Science Museum in the United Kingdom are who developed this, um, and. The watch comes with the manual. It also comes with some information about them. I think it's sciencemuseum.co.uk if you want to get some more information about them. But they are who developed this watch, and I thank them very, very much for that. This is fantastic. I love this. This is an atomic watch I can wear all year round, um, as opposed to the other one, which I could only wear in the winter because of the band. Um, it was metal, and I don't want to go into that because I'm wearing out of time. But it also, if I should lose my vision entirely, this is this is great. I can get the time every hour and always be correct and I can also see it it's nice and big easy to see 
So uh, that's pretty much it. The Voice Zone Radio Controlled Talking Watch. Thank you for watching. Comments or welcome insults against me will get you blocked and have a nice day.